I'm Victoria Mitchell. I was born and raised in Vancouver, BC, and have lived here for 40, almost 50 years. <laughs> well, when I was very young, I really enjoyed drawing and sketching as, as, a, as a wee one. I was really absorbed in the arts, but I was very shy about it. And fortunately, there was um, adults around me who really uh, saw into what I was doing and, and encouraged me to continue. So um, I did for a while and I, I was um, fortunate to have um, personal instruction with a couple of career artists from a young age um, and won a couple of art awards when I was very young. But then I was so timid about it, I really hid it away and, and didn't show my work for many, many years. So it's been really great having communications with people observing what I do and wanting to have or have something to say about what they're seeing. And the way they've observed the connections between everything, there's sort of um, tethers and connections between uh, figurative work and, and nature, often with trees and things. And so I, I've been exploring more why that is and um, why my work shows that way. And now I realize, looking back at a lot of the work I did when I was really little, has those sort of sinews and connections and, and tethers. And um, I think it's the way I've always sort of felt things of what goes on of the connections within ourselves uh, relating to our connections with nature and the world around us, our surroundings. So I have found ways to, in, in my <laughs> obscure ways, finding ways to demonstrate that through art of, of uh, what those connections might, might look like if they were a little more tangible. So that's part of what you might see when you look at my paintings. Some of them really demonstrate that strongly. So much of what I do uh, touches what I've experienced of the inner body through my work in massage therapy and with yoga and um, also really enjoying nature and the way we we connect and touch nature so my work seeks to demonstrate that of, of what we find of the connections in ourself relating to the way we connect with nature and our surroundings. To me, this is really representative of the present, present day, of what's going on in the world with um, um, environmental crisis and what we see of, of um, seeking for nourishment in a better world. So you see this uh, desperate little tree seeking, uh, what's the term, the grass is always greener on the other side, maybe looking for that. And um, just the uncertainties and instabilities in nature and for ourselves, we could put ourselves into this and, and um, it'd be about what, what we're seeking and what we're looking for and searching for goodness and nourishment and, and a stable world. So it might be showing the instability, but um, consequently um, demonstrating um, our what our needs are to, to find our own comforts and stability.